All right, let's talk about this next node. This is a clairvariant selection. This is another exact node, meaning it's going to get triggered based off of some input event. Um, so we're going to make another one. We're going to set this to, let's say, the M key. And we're going to wire it up, and we're going to set it up to be the same thing on our, on our buddy car paint metallic 02. So what this is going to do is I pick the prim and uh, right variant Metallico 2. I'm going to pick paint color as my variant set. So what it's going to do, it's going to clear the local opinions of this variant set. So these two are setting it to be, remember, um, light blue and gray. And then now if I hit the M key, it's going to clear that selection back to whatever going to clear the local opinion and it's going to go back to whatever the kind of composition of the entire USD scene says it should be. So the best way to illustrate this is I'm going to go, I already did this, I, I put my car down in a lower layer right here, variant nodes test layer. So I'm going to go down to the test layer, I'm going to go to my presenter and I'm going to, in, the, in this lower layer, I'm going to set this to be light blue. So I'm going to go back up to my root layer. So now my J and K key are still switching between gray and blue. Let's actually switch light blue to be red. So now I'm going back, and, but now when I hit the M key to clear my local selection, it's going to go to blue because uh, what I've done is I've cleared the, the opinion of this root layer and USD composition tells me that the next layer down is now in charge of what this variant set is. In this case, the next layer down says it should be light blue. If I had, you know, seven more layers, they would all build up to decide what that opinion is. In a configurator, it's very likely that you won't have layers. It's very likely that your configurator will be kind of the end destination of all your assets, and you're not going to have a not, not going to have a ton of layers that like noodle the lighting or colors or whatever. That's all going to be done by your content teams and they're just going to send you the final stuff. So when you're working with something that basically has no layers, what it what this node is kind of functionally going to do is it's just going to nuke out whatever you have the selection and set it back to what is essentially the default. So they're kind of that's that's not like a real word. There isn't a default for these assets, but what I, what, I, what I mean when I say default is if I just drag this car back in fresh from its content, it is already red. So that is kind of, in a functional sense, that is the default. It's not actually default, it's still like a composition, and uh, like the analysis of this node, its composition settings in USD are telling it you are red. So when you're working in a single layer environment with no kind of sublayers, that's what this node is kind of functionally going to do. But it's important to understand what it's doing in the background. It's actually just clearing your local opinion and going back to whatever the composition opinions are. All right, next nodes coming soon.